friends, it's Marmuski again. We're back for some more brachot stuff, more things to talk about for Ripri Ha'adama, everything that grows under the ground and right on top of the ground. Remember that song we sang yesterday? It was a little different from our regular brachot song. Should we sing it again? All right, ready, set, go. Vegetables grow in the ground and on the ground and in the ground. Vegetables grow in the ground. That's where they are found. That was a fun one. And remember, we talked about all those different vegetables, and we looked at where they were growing and what they look like when they come out of the ground. Remember, I showed you some real ones, like our little cucumber over here. Actually, this one was missing yesterday. I couldn't find it, but now I found it, so it's over here. Well, you know what I thought would be really fun to do? Just like when we yeah, when we looked at all the fruit with the bracha bore priha eights, we took a pretend trip to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Remember that? We, we pretended like we were really going to a real store. And we went into the, all the fruit aisles and the vegetable aisles, and we saw all the things they sell there. Well, guess what? Today we're going to get to take a real trip, except I can't take you with me. Just I'm going to go by myself, all right? So I might look a little different when I go to the store, because remember what I'm going to have on my face? I'm going to have a mask over my mouth and my nose to protect me from germs, right? You may have seen some grown-ups wearing those. And... My eyes are still going to look the same, my hair is still going to look the same, my voice is still going to sound the same, my hands are going to look the same. So we're going to take a look at some of the vegetables over there, all right? Because I saw, I went to a store and I saw so, so many kinds of Borei Priha Adama things there, all right? So have a look, and when we come back from our trip, well, the trip that just I took, but you can pretend to come along with me, we're going to make a cool art project, all right? So take out this paper if you're ready, and you're also going to need two more things, scissors, and some tape, all right? I have a small tape here. Okay, so I'm really excited to have you along on my trip. I'll see you soon. And so now I'm in the grocery store and I'm gonna look and see if I can find any Hazama foods, all right? Come along, let's go see. Oh, look what I see here. I see some cabbage, remember we saw those growing in the ground? And some kind of little carrots, and some snappies, let's keep on looking. Um, oh, look, here's some cute little peppers. These ones are super, super spicy, actually. But they also grow right on top of the ground. And, uh, oh, a tiny little cauliflower, too. That one's cute. And some pretty purple eggplants. Those ones are fun. And, oh, asparagus. These ones grow, this part goes right into the ground, and then when you pick them, they come right out, and they're a whole stalk like that. Here's a long cucumber. Remember, we saw the pictures of those too. What else is there? Keep on looking. Um, oh, this one's called broccolini. It's like broccoli, but it's smaller. See the green part at the top? And here's some cool long onions. They're called scallions. Let's see what else. Oh, look. These ones still have the leaves that poke out on top of the ground. Remember, this part goes under the ground, and this part sticks up on top. also have the leaves that stick out on top. This part goes all the way under the ground. And let's see if there are any more that we can find that grow underneath the ground. Come along. Oh, yeah. Here's those carrots. You see that leaf part that sticks up? And some radishes. You see all those leaves too? And let's see if there's any more. Oh, this is cool. This is what it looks like when you cut the beets open. They have different colors on the inside. And here's some more broccoli too. All right, friends, I think that was all. I'm gonna go buy some stuff now and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey friends, welcome back. Did you have a nice time in that trip, going to that supermarket and seeing all those cool vegetables? You know what I really like the best? I like the carrot one. They were really bright and orange and it was cool seeing all those leaves that were attached to them. And you know what was also cool? Seeing all the different colors of all the vegetables there. Because you know what's cool? Vegetables actually are, Hashem made them that they are really good for our bodies. When we eat vegetables, it helps our bodies grow and be really strong. And Hashem made all different kinds of vegetables that help our bodies in different ways. And we might be wondering, hey, how do I know? How do I know if I eat all the, what, what kind of vegetables to eat to make sure that your body gets really strong? Well, a good way to do it is make sure that you're eating 
as many colors of vegetables as you can. And it's also really fun. It's kind of like you're pretending to eat a rainbow of vegetables. Do you think you could eat a rainbow of vegetables? How many color vegetables do you think you could eat? Let me see. I have some in my house. Let me see if I can get a whole rainbow. Remember the colors there are in the rainbow? There's, let me get out my crayons. There's red. There's orange. There's yellow. There's green. There's blue. And there is, where's that purple? There is purple. Do you think I can find all of these colors of vegetables? I don't know. Let's give it a try. All right. Let's see. Should we see if we can get the red one first? Let me see if I have any red vegetables. Can you think in your head or can you look in your house, see if you have any red vegetables? Let me look around. I found one. Do you want to guess what it's going to be? I bet you guys can guess it. It's something that we did an art project with yesterday. Let's see. It's a tomato. There we go. Look at these little tomatoes. Remember how we saw these, that they were growing on the vine, right? They still have the little stems attached. And look, tomatoes are nice bright red, and they make our bodies really strong too. And you know what part of our bodies make, the tomatoes make really strong? Actually, our heart. Our heart. Tomatoes are really good for our heart. All right, so that's tomatoes. We found the red one. Yeah, they're the same color. Cool. All right. Let's see. Do you think we can find an orange? Actually, this is a better one. An orange vegetable, an orange food. That's bore puri ha'adama. Hmm, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let me look around. Look around my house. Hmm, can you look inside your house and see if you can find one? All right, I wonder if we can find one. Um, I think I found one. You want to guess what it's going to be? All right, let me show you it. A carrot! See how these are the same color too? Here's a carrot. And so you still have that little stem on top. Remember this, this part, all the orange part was hiding under the ground. And just a little stem was poking up. Just the little leaves. And then it came out and you could see how it's all orange. You know which part of our body's carrots help? That, which part they make super strong? Our eyes. Carrots make our eyes super strong. All right, that was the red and the orange. What about the yellow? Do you think we could find a vegetable, Borepre Adama, that's yellow? Mm, I wonder. Let me have a look. Mm, let me look all around. Let me see. What's that? Corn. Delicious. Hey, corn is yellow. See how these two are the same color? And corn is actually also really good for your eyes. Corn helps your eyes. And it's nice and yellow. Hey, we're finding so many colors in the rainbow. Do you think we can find all of them? But these are the ones we have left. We have green, blue, and purple. I hope we can find all these colors. It would be so fun if we could try and eat the whole rainbow, right? Okay, let's see what we can find next. Let's look for the green ones. I'm going to look all around my house. Can you look in your house and see if you can find a green vegetable? Mm, let me see. Hey, remember I showed you a vegetable before? I think that was green. Remember what that was? All right, let me see. Oh, I found it. Do you want to see which green vegetable I found? It's a cucumber. Cucumbers are so yummy and crunchy too. And you know what? Cucumbers are really good for pretty much all our body because they have water in them that helps our whole body be strong. All right, so here's the yummy cucumber and see how it's the same color, it's green. That was fun too. So fun seeing all the kinds of cool vegetables that Hashem made. And I just have two more, blue and purple. Blue is a little tricky. I don't really know any blue vegetables. There is a kind of sweet potato it's a kind of sweet potato, not this kind, but a different kind that's a little blue on the inside, but not as blue as the crayon or as blue as my shirt. It's just a little, little bit blue. And there's also a kind of corn that's a little blue, but not super blue. So just medium blue. If you really want to eat something blue, you probably got to go with blueberries. All right, but let's, what about purple? You think we can try to find something purple? Hmm, I'm going to look super hard in my house. I think I have something, all right? Can you look in your house too? Let's look around. Purple. Hey, purple. Any purple vegetables here? Any purple? Bore puri ha'adama. Anything purple that grows under the ground? Hmm. Anything purple that grows on top of the ground? You know what? I think there's something that grows under the ground. Let me look and see in my house. 
I think I found something. You guys want to guess what it's going to be? All right, I'll give you a little three to guess. One, two, three. It's a beetroot. You know what? I don't know if you can actually see on the inside, but this is purple underneath the peel. I'm not going to take the peel off right now because I'm not ready to eat it. You have to cook it and then eat it. And on the inside, this really, really is purple. And actually in the video, remember you saw those cool beets that when you slice them up, they were different colors on the inside. Some were yellow, some were pink. This kind is a purple one. So here we go. These are the two same colors on the inside. The peel is a little darker. All right, we found so many colors of the rainbow. And you know what's so cool, guys? If you try eat those different color vegetables of all the, if you try eat a whole rainbow of vegetables, or even if you just try a little bit of each one, then that makes your body super duper strong. And any vegetables you eat, even if you don't like all the ones from the whole rainbow, that's fine. Whatever vegetables you eat, Hashem made our bodies that vegetables help us grow really big and tall and get super duper strong. All right, and you know what? What I was noticing, there's a really cool one for the orange one. Remember the orange color one was a carrot. Carrots are really crunchy, right? And you know who likes carrots? Bunny rabbits really like carrots. They like to chomp, 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 and eat the whole thing up. And you know another way that I like to eat carrots? I like to eat little baby carrots. You know those little pieces of carrots? Those are really fun to eat, and you can put them in hummus or tuna or other fun things. And today, I thought it would be cool if we tried to make our own paper carrot. Because a carrot is fun, but a carrot is a food. And you can't really make art with food, can you? You could try, but I thought it would be fun if we could try making a carrot from a paper. So, have a look over here. This is our called our carrot cone craft. Does that sound fun? All those words start with a k sound. They actually all start with a c. Sometimes a c makes a k sound. So, this is our carrot cone craft, and it has some instructions here. Let's read it. Here's a little picture of a carrot. Let's read the words. Cut out the cone. The cone is this piece over here that says cone. And co a cone is a shape you're going to see. It doesn't look like a cone right now, but when we cut it out and roll it up, it's going to look like a cone. I'll show you then what a cone is. Roll it up. That's what we're going to do next. And tape or glue it shut where it says glue here. That's this little spot. It's these little words here say glue here. Now, you now have a paper carrot. <gasps> Should we try that? Should we see if we can make this paper look like the shape of this carrot? Now, here's the deal. Some friends got an orange paper and some friends got a paper that's a little yellow. It was a bit of a mix up with the paper. So if you want, before you cut it out or after you cut it out, you can take an orange crayon or a marker or whatever you have and you can color it a little more so that you can see that it's super duper orange like a real carrot, all right? You see how we're coloring it over here? If you color it with an orange crayon, it's going to look even more like a real carrot. Okay, see how that color looks more like a carrot? All right, you could try that. So that's, that's optional. That's a choice. You don't have to do that. All right, now you can take out your scissors. Remember, we've got to be super careful with the scissors and only cut paper and things that our grown-ups let us cut, right? So now we're going to cut out on this black line, all right? I'm keeping my thumb up so that the scissors will go where I want them to go. And let me start over here. It's going to be a little easier. So we only want to cut on the thick black line. Black line. We don't want to cut out this little dotted line here. That's just going to show us where to glue it or tape it. All right, let me start cutting. Cut, cut, cut. This part is a curved line, a bit, little bit like a circle. So I want to turn my scissors, turn my hand carefully to stay on the line or as close to the line as I can. If you get a little bit off the line, that's fine. Just try to get right back. Oh, I went a little bit off the line. See my scissors is going away. I'm going to turn my scissors so it can go back onto the line and keep on turning, keep on turning, keep on turning. Oh, I got to the corner. Now I'm going to turn my paper so I can cut out the next bit. If it's easier for you, you can just cut off this bit. And then you'll have this bit left to cut. All right. Let me keep on cutting, keep on cutting. Almost there. And now, one more last little bit. Turn my scissors again. Remember, don't cut this little line. Cut the big black line. Keep on cutting, keep on cutting. I'm almost done. Are we ready to do the last little bit together? Ready, set, and... 
Okay, now what we have, it kind of looks like a triangle with a curved bottom, right? You know what that's going to be? We're going to turn it into a cone. All right, watch with me how we're going to do it. We're going to roll it up. Ready to see how? Roll, 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 roll. We've got to roll this way, actually. Roll it, roll it. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling. And then... You can try rolling a little more so that this part is closed. We can just leave it like this. Then, see this little bit here that's sticking up? Take a little piece of tape. Stick it on to that part that's sticking up, or you can put glue underneath and hold it down until it's dry. Oh, tape it closed. And look at that. You have a cone shape. A cone like an ice cream cone, right? And that reminds me of a carrot. If you want, you can also take a green crayon here and you can color a little bit on the top to make the leaves. You see how that's green? Let me get a darker green so you guys can see that. There we go. Now you see the green leaves. See, that looks like the green leaves on the top. And here you go. Now you have a carrot. Remember, you can try and eat it, but if you want to eat a carrot, I think this one might be a little yummier. And of course, what bracha would you need to say before you eat the real carrot or any of the other vegetables? Borei Puri Ha'adama. That's right. All right, friends, it was so fun taking a trip with you today and making a little carrot cone. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to bring along your Ha'adama snack, all right? See you then. Bye.